Hey guys, how are you? Well, we've got a bunch of fun stuff planned for you. So Miss Simpson, are yes. you ready? I'm so ready. Yay! Let's do it. Okay. Well, and today's Friday. Oh, phew. so excited today. It's Friday, that means it's the weekend. Yeah, I wanna get outside this weekend. Oh, I do too. It's been so beautiful out, riding bikes, mm -hmm. playing with sidewalk chalk, mm -hmm. all that fun stuff. I love it. Well, so this week we've been reading lots of books. Do you happen to have any favorite parts of books you've read? Well, as you know, Amelia Bedelia and I have a few things in common. Sometimes we do silly things, not really on purpose, like make brownies, or apparently my tea cake was wrong. I really like Amelia Bedelia, and she does some funny things, and I have some favorite parts of her book. Well, guess what? We all get to read books that have favorite parts and do different things that really help us to uncover really cool opinions about books. So here we have this anchor chart about talking about different ways that we can have opinions on books. And remember, opinions, they're not facts. They're what you believe. I have a lot of opinions. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Sometimes too many. But anyways, so we have books, or we may have opinions about books with the characters. Oh yeah. Yep. I have an opinion about Amelia Bedelia. What's that? She's really funny. She is. She's hilarious. It's the letter that I sent oh, you. That's like a shade of meaning. Oh my goodness. Mm, I like that word. So hilarious. Do you ever have an opinion about a favorite part? I do. In fact, that's what I want to write my opinion on today about the Amelia Bedelia book we read. Mm, I love that book. So, the last thing that we can have opinions on are pictures. And we're going to use the pictures and our favorite parts to write an opinion letter today. When you're reading, you should always use the pictures to help you learn more about the story. And they're so fun. Sometimes I like to go on a picture walk before I start reading. Like a sneak peek? Yes. Oh, love it's that. It's so fun. I love you get that. to see all the pictures yeah. and, and I get a good understanding of the book and the, and and the, the characters. characters. Facial expressions? Yes. It's really good. Yes. So last time that we met up, I wrote a letter to you about Amelia Bedelia's character. I got it. Did you like it? I loved it. Good. Well, I am going to put this letter to the side because now we're going to write a letter to our friends about my favorite part. I'm going to keep this letter in my safety letter box. Oh, that's a great idea. I keep fun letters so that I can read them <gasps> on days when it's raining or when I feel sad. I that's like to keep fun. things that are funny like this. So I'm going to keep this. Go ahead. And you know what else is fun is to write letters to friends while we can't see them. So even when we're not writing letters about books or characters or favorite parts, you could write letters to friends about how your day's going or a picture. Wait. In my class, we wrote a letter to an author. <gasps> was it Marianne? It was! Oh my goodness! <sighs> so fun. You know, he I love letter writing. He's reading those letters. Right now. Right now on those lunch doodles. Oh, I wonder if we'll read ours. I bet some of ours are gonna be on there. I hope so. Well, guess what? What? After all the talking this week about this Amelia Bedelia book. I decided I have a favorite part. Oh, can't wait to hear it. It's a tea cake! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was an easy choice. So, I want to letter, write a letter to our friends okay. about my favorite part. Okay. So, I'm going to start out by writing mm, a greeting. A greeting. Yes, and you always want to make sure that you capitalize your greeting because that is how letters work. And you also want this tricky little guy that goes right here, that comma. So easy to forget. Yeah, because it's so tiny. Yes. The little guy. Well, afterwards, I was thinking really hard, and I liked that I was able to capture your attention with something really cool at the beginning. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to write a question. 
I wonder if my friends have ever read Amelia Bedelia Helped Out. Mm -hmm. I like when you ask a question at the beginning because it really gets them thinking like, oh, I should stop and answer this. Have I ever read this book before? Yes. And it captures their attention enough to where they want to keep reading. That's good. And I love that you started it with a capital letter. And you, you ended it with punctuation. And you want to underline a title. Excellent. Because it's a proper noun and it's a title. Yeah. So, um, so then I'm going to say, hmm, well, you should. Oh, I bet that's going to get an exclamation mark. Boop. Yeah. It's a good way to capture their attention. Now they're hooked, right? So I'm going to use another shade of meaning. Ooh. I love when we use things that we've learned before and see if you can find it. Mm, I gotta put on my scientific mystery goggles. It is so entertaining. That's a good word. I thought you didn't so. say it, it's so cool. That would be kind of boring. I'm not a fan of the word cool. Entertaining. I'm so interested. What else are you gonna yes. write to them? So, Amelia Bedelia. She misunderstands. Whoa. Wait. Wait. I see something. That's called a prefix. That's right. Will you circle it for Ooh, me? I will. Do you want me to circle the prefix or the whole word? I think the whole word because we want to make sure that you understand the word that it goes with. Misunderstand. It means that wow. she doesn't understand. understand. So like to not understand. Mm. Yes, that's right. That was great. So many things. So we have a prefix, a shade of meaning. You're just loading it up. A really good letter. It's fun. Our friends are gonna love it. I hope so. I'm gonna tell them what my favorite part is. Mm. Favorite part was, oh, I can see the book. It was when she made the Put 
funny name. They gotta know where it's coming from. Your friend Mrs. Oh, oh, that was so good. <gasps> That's a long letter. Well, I wanted to get across my opinion. I thought it was silly. That is really silly. I really silly. liked it. I thought it was a really good book. It was entertaining. Mm -hmm. You told us why it was entertaining. Yeah, and I even put in some prefixes. Woo, woo. Yeah. And you told about your favorite part. That's so important. I love that. Oh, I'm so glad. I have a book. Ooh, it's a good book. And this is called A Piglet Named Mercy. Ooh. So I was thinking that our friends could maybe pick their favorite part and they could write a letter just like you did. I think that's a great idea. And you know, that's a really good book. It's about Mercy, like Mercy Watson. We've read one of those in my class. I know. I've read it too. It's Oh, cool. It's funny. I bet there's a lot of favorite parts that we can find in this. Are you ready? I am. A Piglet Named Mercy. Oh, it's written, written by the same author. The pictures look the same, too. Oh. Mr. Watson and Mrs. Watson lived in a house on Deckawoo Drive. Deckawoo Drive was an ordinary street in an ordinary town. And Mr. and Mrs. Watson were ordinary people who did ordinary things in ordinary ways. I like the word ordinary. Mm -hmm. One day, Mrs. Watson said to Mr. Watson, I wonder if we aren't just the tiniest bit too predictable. Mm. Predictable? Us? Said Mr. Watson. Surely not. It's just that sometimes I wish something different would happen, said Mrs. Watson. Things are just fine as they are, said Mr. Watson. But then something different did happen. Ooh, I like the picture. The picture gives a lot of information. It does. I like that. Caution, pigs. Ooh. There he goes. Yikes. Someone very small and not at all ordinary found her way to the Watsons' house on Deckawoo Drive. Mr. Watson made the discovery when he opened the door for the morning paper. Mrs. Watson, he called. said Mrs. Watson. Oink, said the piglet. I think she's hungry, said Mr. Watson. Do you know what she likes to eat? <gasps> oh, oh, the buttered toast. Oh my gosh. That's really good use of your picture. I mean, I'm just connecting it all. Is that a pig? Said Eugenia Lincoln. Eugenia Lincoln lived next door and she did not approve of surprises for pigs. No fun. It is, said Mrs. Watson. Can you believe our luck? Don't be ridiculous, said Eugenia Lincoln. A pig is not lucky at all. Oh. Do you think perhaps the piglet would like a bottle of warm milk, said Baby Lincoln? <laughs> Baby was Eugenia's younger sister, and she was fond of surprises and piglets. Mr. Watson scratched his head. A bottle of milk? I don't know. This is also unpredictable. I hear a prefix. Un. Unpredictable. They were talking about how they were ordinary and predictable, but now they're unpredictable. unpredictable. Leave it to me, said Baby Lincoln. Oink, said the piglet again. Mrs. Watson picked up the piglet and took her inside. She wrapped her in a blanket. Mm. Have you ever seen anyone so darling, she said. Never, said Mr. Watson. Look how happy they are. I was just going to say that. So happy. I can tell by the pictures. It's really good. Here is the warm milk, said Baby Lincoln. I have it right here. Ooh. Eugenia said, this is absurd. I can tell by the pictures what the character's thinking. I don't think she's happy. No. The piglet did not think it was absurd at all. She 
He drank the entire bottle. Don't be still. And then she burped. Ooh. And oiled. And went looking for more. Oh, well, you know, naturally. <laughs> Can you give a pig a glass of milk? <laughs> oh my goodness, said Mr. Watson. Watch out, said Eugenia. She seems to like toast very much, said Baby. Oh, the darling, darling thing, said Mrs. Watson. So when you give a pig a milk, <laughs> yeah, he's going to want some buttery toast. <laughs> yes. Oh. Mr. Watson, said Mrs. Watson, perhaps you would like to hold her for a bit? Certainly, said Mr. Watson. He took the piglet in his arms. He rocked her. He hummed. How extraordinary, said Mr. Watson. She is a porcine wonder. Some fancy words. Right? That is really fancy. This piglet is a wish come true, said Mrs. Watson. What a mercy <gasps> she is, said Baby. Ooh. There you go, said Mr. Watson. We will call her Mercy. <gasps> now we know where her name came from. She's not a mercy said Eugenia. She is a pig. I have an opinion about Eugenia. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Oink, oink, said the piglet. You cannot name a pig Mercy, shouted Eugenia. But they did name her Mercy. She was entirely unpredictable. Um, she was not at all ordinary, and she was very, very loved. I love that story. I feel like I could write a letter mm -hmm. about my favorite part. I also could write a letter about the characters and the pictures were so detailed. Yeah, they were really good. I could even write a letter about that. It's gonna be hard to choose mm -hmm. one type. But now it's your turn. You get to write a letter to us teachers about your favorite part. If you would like to, you could write a letter about your, the characters or your favorite part of your, a picture as well. But it is your turn to find a part in this story that you wanna write a letter about your opinion. You can always go back in the video too if you need some help and if you need to stop at some sort of really cool picture that you loved and want to talk about, or maybe even your favorite part. Exactly, you can press pause. Those two awesome lines that go like this, yes. You can press pause and use that page to write about. Have fun, we can't wait to see it. So exciting.